Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3. Oh god, it's so quiet, it's really scared me, killing Harmony. <laughs> Last time, we spent way too much time uh, dealing with monocoins. Also, Shuichi told us that someone has access to the hidden room, which is big red flag. And we hung out with Shuichi, and we hung out with Rantaro. And now it's nighttime on day one, so supposedly... We've got one day left, but like, who knows? Maybe someone will have killed someone by now. At this rate, the time limit will expire before we know it. But don't worry, we're having free time. But I won't lose. I won't give up. Because I want to see everyone's smiles just a little longer. I want to spend time with them, laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So I won't give up. Hell yeah. Oh yes, Monokuma Theater, killing it. Oh, it's different. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. But you can't give her any present. It's gotta be a present suited to her taste. Monokuma, I've played this game before. And it's gotta be a handmade present too. So it looks like you put thought into it. For example, the kind of lady who's into strong men would love a handmade pro wrestling group. She'll love being surrounded by macho dudes and you'll make money off the wrestlers too. If enough wrestlers get popular, it might be good to host a big event. And after they're done beating up each other, they can fight other pro wrestling groups. Just give it a shot and I'm positive you'll win her heart. I believe it. Ding dong, bing bong. All right, let's hope no one's dead. It's always a fear. Oh, he's... There's one casualty. This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. Time to wake up. Let's have a wonderful Killing School semester today. We can't have a whole semester in one day. Jeez, Mono Kid really drank too much honey. How long is he gonna keep sleeping? Oh, by the way, Father's time limit expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. Oh shit, I thought today counted. Or like yesterday. Oh, we've- So long. We got fucking time. Let's hang out with people. Have a good time. Who cares? Time limit ends tomorrow night. Shuichi is gambling on that, which means we have to watch the library while time's running out. Shouldn't we start preparing then? I'm getting worried. Oh, hello? Oh, Shuichi! Perfect timing. It's probably not Shuichi. Um, oh, hang on. Sorry, you gotta- Get this- we don't need any of this. Get this out of here. Get out of here. Sometimes I can hit the table, and sometimes I cannot hit the table, and it's weird. All right, hello? Shuichi, I wanted to ask you something. But as soon as I answer the door. Oh. Is on the scene. I'll be honest, I didn't expect you. Too bad, it's me. Yeah, same. It hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. But it hurts so good all the same. What do you want? I figured I'd come let you know that some of the research labs are open. Huh? I mean, the ultimate research labs, those classrooms tailored to our 16 talents. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Thrills, chills, kills. Now, go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody. Stop. A murderous melody? What are you even talking about? And another. So, um, are you going to invite me inside for tea or what? Oh, uh, no, of course not. He already, already came inside. I slammed the door in Monokuma's face with all my might. Jeez, oh, that was super annoying. Oh, Jeez. God, how annoying. Go away, Shuichi. Jeez, enough already. You're bothering me. Oh. oh shit, sorry babe. Uh, I'm sorry, should I come back later? Uh, oh, Shuichi, sorry, just ignore what I said. Um, I wanted to talk to you too, Shuichi. I was wondering if we needed anything for the plan. Uh, That's what I wanted um, to talk to you about. I may know how to keep watch on the library. Huh? Aren't we planning on hiding inside the library and keeping watch from there? Hmm. If we did that, we risk the mastermind running into us. It's safer to watch from further away. We also need hard evidence to convince everyone of the mastermind's identity. So that's why I thought it might be a good idea to set up cameras. Um, cameras? 
Okay. I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. Oh, that's what we were doing yesterday. With some modification, we could combine the two and have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. We set up a few in the library. We can capture proof of the mastermind. And we don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we're less likely to get caught. I see. That's a really good idea. But do you know how to modify a camera? That's... Uh, well, I don't know how. That's why I wanted to ask Mew. Dang it, I just shit-talked her yesterday. The ultimate inventor could help us. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. But... But she's pretty intimidating, so I'm having trouble talking to her by myself. That's right. Oh, in that case, we should ask her together, because I'm not intimidated by her. Uh, I um... saw Mew heading to the dining hall. I think she'll be there. But right? we should be careful about how well, about what we tell her. She might be it. Pennywise the clown, I mean. She might be it? As in, Mew might be the mastermind? Pff, I doubt it. But... Yeah. Oh, that's what you think. Okay, well, I guess let's go. I don't think... Do I know? I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him just in case. Uh, um, yeah, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry for asking no. you to do this. Don't worry, I promised I'd help you out. Come on, let's head to the dining hall. All right. So also someone did tell me, maybe I'm gonna be able to get to the dining hall through the back door, but don't, don't do it because I'll miss dialogue inside. So I will never do that. Okay. Oh, hey, there's people outside. Hi. Good morning, Mioma. Oh. It's you and Shuichi too, huh? You guys are always together. Huh? We're not always together. I went out with Rentaro yesterday. Well, not always, but I feel like whenever I see one of you, the other's nearby. Oh shit, was he watching me? <laughs> Is that right? Sheesh. It's not a bad thing. You can't protect yourself when you're alone. Huh? I thought something would happen at night when it's easiest to get someone alone. But everyone's safe and nothing all that bad has happened. Jeez. Of course, no one would do that. <laughs> said it before, but if you really want to live through a situation like this, grumbling won't help. Um, what? Well, I understand that you want to believe in everyone, but idealistic thoughts like that won't save anyone. You might end up losing what you tried to save. Huh? What do you mean by that? No. Who knows? I've talked too much. More important. Anyway, you guys only have a little bit of time left to think. That's the situation. Best thing to do is live life with confidence. Jeez. That's all I can say. All right, cool, good talk, I guess. There's somebody down here too, who's this? Is that Kibo? Yeah, it is. Hey, what are you doing down here? Uh, morning, Kibo. Yeah. Ah, good morning. Your timing is impeccable. I have something I wish to ask you both. Huh? Is it Kibo? Well then. What are your thoughts on this door? No matter how hard I try, it will not open. Um, um well, it doesn't seem like an exit. That's right. What do you think's on the other side of this wall? Why don't you just fly over and see for yourself? Huh? Whoa! Hmm. Kokichi? <laughs> Come on, I want to see you fly! Robots have jetpacks or whatever under their feet, right? What? You don't? No, I don't. Hmm. Have a dick? Please stop! Someone screenshot that. What are you talking about? Right. Oh, yeah, if you had a jetpack... Then you could have flown over the wall and called for help. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, jeez, oh, you're just a huge disappointment, Kibo. Um, Kibo? Unfortunately. Fine, please just let it be. I don't like sci-fi functions like flight. But aren't you already pretty sci-fi? Oh, sorry about that. I had a minor recording freaking failure i don't know why that keeps happening anyways um somebody's over here too oh hi ba sorry i just i freaking ran into your face hi darling how are you hey good morning yeah good morning rentero oh good morning rentero uh, actually may i ask you a question were you messing around with my girl what's wrong what's up being questioned by the ultimate detective is making me kind of nervous uh, no, well, it's not. It's nothing bad. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just teasing. What's up, Shuichi? Hey. I wanted to know what you meant by the ultimate hunt. That's right. Oh, yeah. I wanted to know about that, too. That's definitely what I thought you were going to ask. 
<laughs> I told you it's nothing. Just forget about it. But, but no. look, like I told you before, I was just a little confused. Not being able to remember my own talent is stressing me out. Never mind. Really, I would appreciate it if you didn't ask me about it anymore. Okay. Sorry. I understand. Sorry if it seemed like I was interrogating you. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry that I'm not much help. Well then, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. God, look at my boobs. Shuichi. Do you think Rantaro is just really? Wait. Do you think Rantaro is really just confused? Those two Could sentences be. mean different things. I don't know, but. He certainly doesn't want to talk about it. We shouldn't ask him any more questions. I see. Yeah, we should be focusing on exposing the mastermind. Don't worry, I'll get really close with him and then I'll ask him and he'll tell me. Um, okay, we can go inside now. And we'll loop around to the dining hall, but we'll see if anybody's in here first. They might be. Anybody in here? No. Uh, let's check around. Okay, someone's over there. We've got a few people on the way, okay. Oh, hi, Kyo. Uh, morning, Kyo. Oh. Good morning, Kaede, Shuichi. Have you come for breakfast? If so, Kirimi said she would make anything if you asked, so why not just do that? Um. Hmm, I, but I'd feel bad if I made her serve me. I see. I had yes. the same thought, so I declined, but it seemed to only make her more restless. If left on her own, I'm guessing she would prepare enough food for everyone regardless. I see. Kurumi really likes taking care of people. It's not something you can describe in such simple language. Her devotion to her duties as a maid is extremely impressive. Despite knowing her end may come tomorrow, she does not so much as flinch. This too is beautiful. Rationality, poise, even in the face of certain looming death. Okay, <laughs> it's exactly as I surmised. I can bear witness to the beauty of humanity here. Uh-huh. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Oh, hey, girl. I have not seen you in a while. Morning, Maki. Morning. Is she in a bad mood? Sure. Heading to the dining hall? You guys better brace yourselves then. Why? Why? Because Miu's there. Oh, great. She is me. Huh? Miu. I don't understand. She's always weird, but this morning she's been even weirder than usual. Since her research lab opened, she's been pretty excited to tinker with her machines. I could totally see Miu bragging to Maki about that. I see. So Miu's lab's open too. Monokuma told me this morning that mine was open. Hmm. What about you? I'm. No, not yet. I suppose only Miu and Kaede's labs have been prepared. Is that so? Let's see. That seems like some bullshit. Bye! Uh, Sounded like um, Maki was in a bad mood. I think Miu was bragging about her lap being open. But I don't think that would bother Maki since she seems so level-headed. I guess she heard something that she really did not want to hear. What are we walking into? And are we- and we're going to ask her for a favor? I don't feel good. Yeah, me neither. Maybe we could just learn by ourselves. I feel like it'd be less work to, like, figure it out by myself. But she's got a lab for it, so... Hey. Hey. Miu is sitting down, looking at, like, her usual haughty self. Seems like she's alone. Well, isn't- isn't Kurumi in here? Hang on, I gotta get all these chairs out of here. We don't need these. We don't need these chairs, do we? Oh, yeah, look, that door is open now. Hey, get this chair out of here. Like, there's no barbed wire on this door anymore. But we're never gonna use it. You told me not to use it, so I won't. Hey, morning, Miu. Well, if it isn't flat chested Kaede, what do you and your pathetic tits want? First of all, my tits are great. Don't even. I bet my tits are bigger than your tits. Hold on. Uh, 35. Okay, so my tits are, in fact, not bigger than your tits, but they're better, so it's fine. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Um, um, I have a small favor to ask of you, Miu, right, Shuichi? You're right. Yeah, actually, there's something we want you to make. We found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse, and, uh, do you think you can make cameras that detect movement and take pictures? 
As in, it would automatically take a picture if the motion sensor detects something. Huh? How are you gonna use that for? Uh, uh to um... keep Monokuma under surveillance. We might learn important information. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. That's definitely that's it. Please, Mew, we need your help to get everyone out of here. Oh, I see. Ah, okay. I get it now. Bitch. My answer is no. Huh? What? You know. You plebs got a lot of nerve asking me for a favor. <laughs> Were you grubs in a past life? Is that why you don't understand basic human courtesy? Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> all right. I'll forgive you just this once. Now get out of here before I whip out the bug spray. I'll be honest, I do like that voice line. Fuck all, y'all. Without thinking, my body moved on its own. Oh my god, am I gonna punch a bitch? Punch a bitch, do it. Hit her tits. Go for the tits. Please, Mew. Oh, gross. I really want to get out of here with everyone. Have some and pride, to do it, girl. I need your help. We could do it by ourselves. We don't need to bow to this bitch. So, please, I'm begging you. Kaede. Kaede. It is Kaede. Okay, cool. I will try and remember to pronounce it correctly from now on. Oh. Shuichi? Don't. Guys, ew. Gross. Don't bow to her. She's gonna make this into a sex thing. I'm begging you too. We could really use your help, Mew. Please? What the hell? Quit bowing to me. No, I won't stop. That seems like a personal problem. I'm gonna stay like this until you say you'll do it, Mew. I'll do it for however long it takes. Ooh. Who the hell uses bowing as a threat? F fine. I'll do it, okay? What? Really? I grasped Mew's hand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I owe you. Even after we escape, I'll owe you forever and ever and ever. I... I don't know. I'm not doing this for you guys. My research lab in the garden just opened up, so... I, w I was already thinking about checking it out. Um. So, can I have my hand back now? Because this is starting to creep me out. Uh. Oh, sorry. I was just so happy. Hmm. But are your hands always this clammy? <laughs> Uh, what did I do? Anyway, and bring me the security sensors and cameras before I change my mind. I'll be waiting in my research lab in the garden. Mew wobbled out of the dining hall as if she'd been thrown off balance. Thank God, I'm glad we managed to convince her. Then... Let's go to the warehouse to get the cameras and sensors right away. Okay. This seems like a giant fetch quest. Oh, dang it. I... There we go. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I keep forgetting how to leave places. <laughs> like, how do I leave? Help. I'm trapped. It's like right here, right? Yeah. God, this place is huge. This... <laughs> this place is huge. I hope we can find all the things we're looking for. That's. Don't worry, I know where the cameras and sensors are. I'll go get them. You can wait here. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? This sounds like a great way to get yourself murdered. And then he never came back. After he said that, Shuichi walked to the back of the warehouse. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just freaking... Okay, what am I supposed to do while I wait for him, huh? I already looked at all these things before, so... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, we just had to- oh no, never mind. Um, am I supposed to be able to look at something else? Are these iron balls? They look like they're for shot put. I picked up, I picked one up to see if it was as heavy as it looked, and it was. The athletes have to hurl these things are pretty impressive. 
Hmm. Kaede, what are you doing? Uh, oh, Shuichi, done already. Okay. Yeah, I've got the cameras. I think three should be enough. Huh? Disposable cameras? Will these work? Uh, That's all they had, but they work. It should be fine. There's also a photo developing solution here, so we don't have to worry about that. Hmm. If you're fine with them. Well. And three cameras should be okay. This is not the kind of cameras I thought you meant. Also, here's a security sensor. When this sensor picks up movement, it triggers this receiver to make a sound. We should get three of these as well. I see. As huge as this warehouse is, I didn't expect it to have security sensors in stock. Can I have one of these for my room? Uh, oh, do you want me to carry the cameras? I can put them in my backpack. I only have my music sheets and a spare vest because I carry that around with me, so there's still lots of room inside. Then... All right, let's go talk to Miu. As I took the three disposable cameras from Shuichi, I suddenly stopped. Oh, uh, what's wrong? Will these cameras really work? Even if we take pictures of the mastermind and persuade everyone, what will we do after that? The mastermind could just smirk and order the Xeasels to attack everyone. Can we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape this place? Hmm. Kaede, is something wrong? We need to go before Miyu changes her mind. Shuichi was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. Uh, oh, sorry. I shut the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. Oh my god, did I- No, never mind. That would be stupid. Metal balls, though. That's like... That's an odd thing to point out. Then... All right, let's go to Miu's lab. I saw it in the courtyard. I see. Oh, you mean the large building and the garden at the bottom of the stairs? Hmm. Up until now, our research labs have just been normal classrooms. Well. What do you mean, up until now? None of them are open except mine. That seems all right, doesn't it? Freaking up until now, my ass. Hold on. Actually, can I go to mine? Yeah, can I? Oh, I can't. Okay. I'm gonna ch I just want to see if I can go up the stairs. I just want to see if I can look at mine, if it will let me. Hey. Oh, all right. I just want to go look at mine. How did you catch me? <laughs> I don't even know where he is. Just ghosted behind me, I guess. Okay. Oh, hi. Wow, there's like a bajillion people out here now. Hi. Hello. Come on, come on. Good morning, good morning to you both. Spending time together again. Wow, that was that was early in, huh? That was all you had to say. Kaede? Is that what we're going with? I think say something to her. Um, What's going on? Mm -hmm. Angie's trying to brainwash me and Himiko with her Atua nonsense. But Gosh, I'm just answering Himiko's questions about Atua. What? Are you saying Himiko, of all people, believes in Atua over magic? Well, both are hard to believe. It'll be okay. I don't believe in him. It's just strange to me that Angie isn't afraid of tomorrow's time limit. <laughs> because Atua has already welcomed me into his kingdom. What is this? Shut up about Atua. Your god's not going to get out of this situation. Uh, get us out, not get out. Atua's not here. You don't believe, Tenka? The only thing I believe in is Aikido. I see. I see. What about you, Himiko? Because I'm a mate. I don't need to learn any priest spells. I see, I see. Well, I suppose that's okay for now. Atua's a merciful god. He forgives everyone, even those who do not believe. But, but... And the non-believers always come around eventually. So divine! Because Atua is with me. <laughs> How divine! Anyway, I... I will not be deceived by your words. Huh. No, nor will Himiko either. What a pain. Leaving an Atua sounds like too much of a pain. That that's your reason? It's Neo Aikido! Nico, you should believe in Aikido over Atua. What a pain. Oh, that's a pain too. Do you have anything else to say, darling? <laughs> Sleepy. I didn't sleep well last night. It took all my courage just to use the bathroom. But I guess people can overcome their fears when they're really forced to. So she was holding it in. Okay. Um. Where is at the bottom of the stairs? So I guess down here. Oh, somebody's down there. Hi. Hello. 
How exciting. I guess that building over there is Mew's lab. I saw Mew run over there earlier. She was all sweaty and had a total creeper smile. Okay, thanks. What? What is this? That ninja statue looks like it's from an anime or a manga. It's cute, but way out of place here. Weird. Okay. Okay, so that's the way back. I guess it's over here. Yeah. Um, no, wait. This is the boiler room, right? Oh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Knock, knock. Oh, wait. I think someone was over there. Dang it. Right after I knocked, the door violently swung open. Skank. You're fucking late. How dare you waste precious seconds of my time? Oh, looks like she's back to normal. Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. Uh, well, don't keep my golden brain waiting. Give me what you got. Um, okay, it's just these, but I took out the three cameras from my backpack and handed them to me. What was that? Disposable cameras. Hmm. Are disposable cameras too difficult to modify for you? Huh? Do you ask bird watchers if they know how to gawk at dumbass birds? Of course I can do it. Piece of cake. Then here are the security sensors. Oh, I see. So you want me to use these sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, right? Uh, I was thinking mm. the cameras could be triggered by the security sensor. As in, the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off, and the shutter activates. That's how I'd like it to work, if possible. After I heard that, I whispered into Shuichi's ear. Um, what are you going to use that for? Are you stupid? That's... I'm going to set it up on the moving bookcase. Don't say this in front of her! That way we can keep watch from anywhere as long as we have the receiver with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? The camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You mother Hey, what are you two whispering about? No. Nothing? Is that all right? I wrote down the details here. Hmm. Two cameras with built-in security sensors that will take photos automatically. And a third camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo. Sure. How soon do you need these? Uh, Could you make um, them by tomorrow morning? Shut up! Of course I can. You could tie me up and drip hot wax on me and I'd still finish in time. With that bold declaration, Miu slammed the door in our faces. Hmm. She just revealed some of her kinks to us. Kaede, she's been doing that the whole time. Then. Anyway, I think this will do it. We just have to wait for Miu to finish. Um. Kaede, what's wrong? No. Nothing. I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Shuichi. Huh? What? You know? Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you'd be this reliable. But look <laughs> at me now, relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes or something. Or maybe even Herlock Sholmes or whatever. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. You're my second favorite, Herlock Sholmes. We went our separate ways and returned to our rooms. Sick. The time limit expires at nighttime tomorrow. Today is my last chance to roam around. I need to make sure I don't forget to do anything important. Ooh, okay. Um, all right, let's see. Who do we want to hang out with today? Let's look at our presents. So I think this could be for anyone. This probably could be for anyone. This could probably be for most of the girls. Probably especially Miu and, like, Sumugi. This is for Ki- I have the hiccups. Kirumi. I don't know. Maybe Kirumi also, because apparently she likes to cook. This is for, um, Kaito. So we have a lot to work with on this first row already. So I'm thinking maybe we- maybe we start with that. So I think these could be for anybody. Um... Wait. Okay, they're they're stopping. They're oh wait, no no no, that one still gave me one. <laughs> Every time. All right, let's see. Who do we want to hang out with? Uh, Tango's in here. I could hang out with her. I'm thinking. Oh, I actually should probably like just check and see where everyone is, huh? Oh, there's a lot of people in here. Can I like zoom in at all? Okay, Ryoma's down there. A lot of the girls are in here. Gonta's outside. Samugi's in the library. 
That, I don't know who that is. Is that Shuichi? I think it is. It's kind of hard to see. I'm kind of sitting far away from my TV, so it's a little bit difficult for me to see. Is that Kirumi? I think I might go hang out with Kirumi. Probably not a choice some of you expected, but I think she seems very capable. Um, I think she's in here, right? And I think it would be good to have her on our side. And I have that ketchup. I think she might like that. Hey, darling. That is correct. The kitchen is stocked with ingredients so I can prepare satisfying meals for everyone. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. And then maybe we'll do Kaito next. Then. Are the ingredients provided by Monokuma? Even the perishables, too? I'll give her the ketchup first, and then I can save the olive oil for her, too, because since the time chatting about cooking with Kurumi. Yay! Yes! There's only five, though, so I feel like it might be more difficult to get, you know, events with people. <laughs> it seems I do not have to give you any advice on how to select the right gift. You've made me incredibly happy. Oh, yay! How can I help Kaede, you? Kaede, is there anything you wish for me to do? Huh? Uh, not at the moment. Then, then why are you speaking to me? Um... Why? Oh, that's right. Kirumi's a maid. So she probably thinks I want her to do something for me. Sorry. Sorry for giving you the wrong idea. I just wanted to have a chat with you. You know, without any of that ultimate maid stuff. Mm -hmm. Have a chat with me. Of course, I do not mind such requests. It's not a request, but more like, oh, well, I don't want to make this more complicated. That is correct. To be quite frank, I wish to speak with you as well, Kaede. Hmm. Really? That's unexpected. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. yeah, we don't have much in common. Oh, but I'm happy to talk anyway. Ask me anything. Thank you. I have prepared some questions I would like you to answer. Kirumi took out a notebook. May I? These questions all concern food. Oh, she just wants to know my if I have any allergies. Do you have any food allergies I should be aware of? No. Um, no, I don't have any. What do you think? Are there specific foods that you detest? Mm. I can't think of any foods that I really like or really hate. I see. Most impressive. Then I shall move on to my next question. Do you have a preference for certain bedding materials? Oh, queen, you don't got walk. You don't want to clean my room. Um, bedding materials? Yes. For example, do you prefer down, buckwheat, memory foam, or cotton pillows? Mm. Um, the pillow I have right now is good enough. Why is she asking this? Is this some kind of interrogation? Pillows are important. Are you doing research? Hey. You doing research? My apologies. Are my questions causing you discomfort? No. No, I did say you could ask me anything, but. I should have been forthright with my intentions. May I? Your comfort matters very much to me, Kaede, hence my questions. With the information you provided, I can provide you with greater service. Huh? What, you do all that for me? Yes. Not just for you, but for everyone else as well. Once we're finished here, I intend to present these questions to the others. Oh, that's why she wanted to talk to me. I am a maid. If you're not content for any reason, please call for me and I shall fulfill any request. Yeah. Uh, okay, thanks. Rumi sure loves to take care of people. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this one here and then do the second free time in the next episode because I feel like shit might go down after that, right? Maybe. We'll see. Either way, sounds good to me. I guess I'll see what everyone else is doing in the next one. I'll see you then. Bye!